in this lecture we discuss conditional probability. In an earlier lecture when we were discussing statistics, we also looked at this in a certain way and when we looked at categorical variables, we discussed the case of admission to a program through different training classes and so on. So, we take the same example and then we try to convert the proportions into probabilities to try to understand this concepts in conditional probability. So, we have seen this before we looked at this data of getting into a management school imaginary data and let us assume that uh, 3849 applicants were there and they belong to 3 preparation classes with the numbers given 2166, 1047, 636. And then we say that 65 people joined and this number is given here those who joined and those who did not or could not join and then we also have this number of 2166, 1047 and 636. We also looked at this and the contingency table that we drew showed the counts of cases of one categorical variable contingent on the value of another. So, the 65 is divided to 37, 18 and 10 and the 2166 now gets distributed to 2129 and 37. So, out of 2166 who went to class 1, 2129 did not or could not join the program while 37 did and so on. So, we have already seen that the cells of the contingency table are mutually exclusive and each case appears exactly in one cell. We also looked at the frequency distribution of the selected people that is called the marginal distribution we have seen this. The next thing we did when we looked at contingency tables was we then started computing these percentages. Now, what are these percentages and how are they computed? Uh, we now look at this the category under S yes, and then you looked at the category under class 3. So, then 10 students from class 3 joined the program 10 out of 65 joined the program, but this 10 students out of 3849 who actually applied is 0.26 percent of the people who applied and joined went to class 3 for earlier preparation. Now, this is 1.57 students who went to class 3. So, class 3 had a total of 636 people who went and 10 of them joined. So, 1.57 percent. So, 1.57 percent of those who went to class 3 as a preparation class joined the program and 15.38 percent of the students who joined the program. So, out of the 65 who joined 10 went to class 3. So, 15.38 percent of the people who joined the program went to class 3. So, there we saw the proportions. Now, we are going to generalize these proportions as probabilities. So, then we start writing this out of the people who applied 0 0.02 totally joined 0 0.98 did not or could not join and then we represent this 0.2 as proportions of, of the other numbers. So, out of those who applied 0.56 came from class 1, 0.272 from class 2 and 0.166 from class 3 and that gets distributed in this manner. So, proportions become probabilities. The probability that a person who is applied and gone to class 1 and got selected or joined is 0.01 which is given here. So, each of these outcomes describes two attributes joined and not joined and the preparation class. So, it is the joint probability of joining the program and the preparation class. So, probability of S yes and class 1 is 0 0.01 that is people who joined the program who went to class 1 is 0 0.01. So, joint probability is the probability of intersection. Marginal probability is the probability of observing an outcome with a single attribute regardless of other attributes. So, probability of a person joining the program is 0.01 plus 0 0.005 plus 0 0.003 which actually approximates to 0 0.02 because these are all 
got from the numbers like 65, 3900 and so on. So, this is probability of joining and going to class 1 or probability of joining and going to class 2 and probability or probability of joining and going to class 3, which is sum of probability of joining and class 1 plus probability of joining and class 2 plus probability of joining and class 3, which is this point 0 2. So, probability of a person applied from class 1 is this point 5 6. So, of all the people who attended the interview or who applied. So, that is probability of people who joined and went to class 1 and probability of people who did not or could not join and went to class 1. Therefore, it is probability of join and class 1 plus probability of not join and class 1 point 0 0.01 plus point 0.55 which is equal to point 0.56. So, we show all these computations this way. So, this is point 0 0.01. Now, if you say uh, what percentage of people who of the people who came from this went there. So, it is point 0.01 by 0 0.56 which is 0 0.0178 and so on. So, we get the last table where we do the divisions and say that 0 0.0178 comes from 0 0.01, 0 0.56. So, what is the probability that if the person going to class 1 joins the program would be 0 0.01 by 0 0.56 and so on. Now, with the new sample space of class 1, what is the probability of S and class 1? It is not 0 0.01 because it does not add up to 1. The answer is 0 0.01 by 0 0.56, which is 0 0.0178. So, that the sample space adds up to 1 here. So, probability of joining given class 1 is probability of joining and went to class 1 divided by the probability of going to class 1. So, probability of joining and class 1 is given by this 0 0.0178, which is probability of joining and going to class 1 here is 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.56. So, this is probability of joining given that they went to class 1 is probability of joining and went to class 1 divided by the probability of class 1. So, conditional probability of yes that is joining given the person is from class 1 is probability of joining given the person is from class 1 is equal to probability of joining and the person going to class 1 divided by the probability of person from class 1 which is 0 0.01 by 0 0.56 which is 0 0.178. So, probability of A given B is equal to probability of A and B divided by probability of B this is the conditional probability equation. Probability of A given B, this line is to be read as given B, this vertical line. So, probability of A given B is equal to probability of A and B divided by probability of B. The symbol vertical line symbol in A given B means given phrases given that conditional on if known that they all indicate conditional probabilities. Now, dependent events two events A and B are independent if the probability that both occur is the product of the probabilities of the two events. So, we know that P of A and B is equal to P of A into P of B for independent events. For example, if A represents customers who see an advertisement and B identifies customers who buy the product, probability of buying the product given seeing the advertisement is P A and B divided by P of A. But if A and B are independent, then P of A and B is P of A into P of B, which is therefore, P B given A is P of B, it does not depend on A. So, in our case, probability of joining given that they went to class 1 is 0 0.178 that we calculated, while probability of joining multiplied by probability of going to class 1 is 0 0.02 into 0 0.56 which is 0 0.112 and therefore, we can say that these two are not independent and there is a dependency which is there. So, there is another way of checking whether events are dependent or independent for using conditional probabilities. Now, let us look at this multiplication rule joint probability of two events A and B is the product of the marginal probability of 1 
times the conditional probability of another. So, since probability of B given A is probability of A and B divided by probability of A, probability of A and B is equal to probability of A multiplied by probability of B given A is called the multiplication rule. So, joint probability of two events A and B, P of A and B is the product of the marginal probability of one which is P of A multiplied by the conditional probability of the other P of B given A. Now, P of A given B is P of A and B divided by P of B. Therefore, P of A and B is equal to P of B into P of A given B. Remember, now P of A and B is equal to P of A multiplied by P given A. It is also equal to P of B multiplied by P of A given B. So, the probability that events A and B both occur which is A and B is the probability of A times the probability of B given A or probability of B times probability of A given B occur. So, both are valid. Now, let us look at another uh, question. Probability of loan 1 defaulting is P 1, probability of loan 2 defaulting is P 2 and probability of loan 3 defaulting is P 3. So, probability of all defaulting is P 1, P 2, P 3 are they independent? If they are borrowers, if the 3 borrowers are suppliers to the same company and because of some issue it is defaulting then there is a dependency. Therefore, when we multiply unconditional probabilities check always whether they are independent. So, only when they are independent we can do this multiplication rule. Now, order in conditional probabilities it is very very important to know this P of A given B is not equal to P of B given A. So, example probability of joining given class 1 is probability of joining and from class 1 divided by class 1 which was 0 0.0178. Probability of class 1 given joining is probability of class 1 and joining divided by probability of joining which happened to be 0 0.5. So, P of A given B is not equal to P of B given A. We now look at probability trees and try to solve some problems using probability trees. In fact, indirectly we have seen this in one of the examples where we looked at the, the, uh, the, la the batsman having to score 2 runs to win a match with 1 ball remaining and we looked at a tree like solution where if the person went for the clean hit there is a probability and then when the person does not there is another probability and then there is an outcome and so on. The example where there is a 30 percent if they goes for a clean hit and 50 percent if tie and another 50 percent of winning. Now, we look at another example on a Sunday evening 50 percent of the people watch movies, 30 percent watch a cricket match and 20 percent watch comedy shows. The percentage of people skipping ads are 20 percent, 25 percent and 15 percent respectively. Now, what happens? Now, we have this probability tree. So, 0 0.5 movies, 0 0.3 cricket, 0 0.2 comedy. Now, within this percentage of people skipping ads are 20 percent if they watch a movie. So, people who watch a movie and see ads is 0 0.8, people who watch a movie and skip ads 0 0.2. Similarly, 0 0.75, 0 0.25 and 0 0.85, 0 0.15. So, we now realize that people who watch movies and see ads are 0 0.5 into 0 0.8 which is 0 0.4, the other one is 0 0.5 into 0 0.2 which is 0 0.1 and so on. Therefore, people who watch cricket and see ads is, is probability of people watching cricket multiplied by people watching cricket and seeing ads. So, this is 0 0.3 into 0 0.75 which is 0 0.225 and so on. We also have this very very important result called the Bayes rule. Conditional probability of A given B can be found from the conditional probability of B given A by using this formula. So, probability of A given B is probability of A and B divided by P of B. So, this is B given A into P of A divided by probability of B given A into P of A plus probability of B given A complement into probability of A complement. So, now B is divided into uh, B is expanded into B given A into P of A plus B 
given a complement into p of a complement p of a and b is expanded by the original multiplication rule formula. So, b of a into p of a. So, we could use the Bayes rule and try to solve some problems. So, with this we come to the end on this lecture and we will look at discussion uh, questions on this lecture and continue our discussion on probability in the next lecture.